Today on Say Yes to the Best, we are going to talk about your timeline, the biggest mistakes we see, and how you can avoid it. I'm John from PGP Wedding Films, and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning advice. Subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We have new content out all the time to help you with your wedding planning. So today we are going to be talking about timelines and how you can avoid the biggest mistakes that our guests have seen people make. But I also want to announce something really exciting, that we are partnering with Pennsylvania Weddings to do some live Q&As with some of our guests and give you more information as well as more of an opportunity to interact with all the great pros that we talk to on this show. So we're going to be starting that in the next couple weeks. If you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you'll see plenty of information. And definitely go follow them on Facebook because that's where we're going to be hosting those live Q&As. I wanted to jump into what all of our great pros have said they've seen when couples are making their timelines and things that you should look to avoid or adjust in your wedding day. Sometimes I think people forget the lapse that is in between the ceremony to the reception. I've been to weddings where you're starving (laughs) and waiting um, because that's the time when a lot of people have their photos. So I think planning a nice little cocktail hour is key. Well, not having a first look is definitely one. Um, Just allowing for transportation. If you're not getting ready on site or if your ceremony is in a different spot than your reception. I think couples really want to do something different and make it feel like it's not the same old wedding. But the timeline isn't always the best place to start with that. Um, I think there's just a certain amount of time that dinner takes to serve and it's better to like let your caterer guide you and just keep some of the other kind of funkier or big surprises for something that doesn't affect their service timeline. I think that, I think the one thing that every couple should consider and remember is that everything revolves around food. Food is the most important part. (laughs) It's not just the special dances. All that stuff is important as a couple, yes, but you have to really consider food. Work with your venue, make sure that it's it's on point for them so that they have enough time. I think that that's one of the things that people don't realize. That's what the coordinators are worried about most of the time when things are, are running behind. The biggest mistake I see couples make with their timeline is not thinking about it until the very last week before their wedding. Uh, and that's actually something that uh, musicians can be helpful with because we will we will bother you to get us your timeline (laughs) um yeah yeah i i definitely agree with that (laughs) we've had multiple weddings where we've been on the phone with couples unfortunately the night beforehand making sure that we have all of their last minute changes corrected and updated and add whatever new song they want because we want to make them happy but it's always good to plan ahead (laughs) and we always try to push them towards having that set in stone several weeks early (laughs) Yeah. The, the sooner you can get your timeline together, the, the easier it is to make all the rest of the decisions, I think, at least. Yep. It gives you like a broad picture of what your wedding will be. And then you see all the little things that are missing. Yeah. And it definitely helps wedding coordinators to not have to run around with a thousand crazy questions <laughs> to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so number one, uh, I always tell couples that I'm working with, I work backwards. What that means is... You determine your ceremony, so you decide what time your ceremony is going to be, and then from there, you work with your videographer and your photographer to create a timeline based on the places that you're going to go, you know, if you're going to go to different places to have photos done, you know, whatever that may be. So you're going to work with them to create that timeline. From there, you have to add time as much as what you think that it'll take you just a couple of minutes to get into your dress. I promise you, it doesn't. (laughs) It takes much longer. Um, And so to keep those things in mind when you are starting your day, to remember that in a sense, you are working backwards. And so um, you're the time that you're going to start getting ready with hair and makeup is going to be determined by that time that you need to be finished by and then taking into account how many people you have. Um, you know, so if you have, like for instance, in some, in some instances, um, I have a very large party 
And it doesn't really change the timeline because there's more than one artist. Um, but you know, you're gonna have a shorter timeline if there's three people versus say six people with one artist. Um, so keeping that in mind, um, and then, you know, as far as, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's a mistake, but something that I always tell brides when I'm working with them is, remember that you're going to have those things that you just didn't plan on. Um, maybe somebody sends you flowers, maybe somebody, um, you know, presents a card and it's a really special moment. And as your makeup artist, I never want to say, you know, we don't have time for that. <laughs> you know, we have to be done by a certain time. So you want to build in some of that extra time for those special moments along the way. Um, I think that that's really very important. So sometimes when you're looking at your timeline and you think, I mean, I do my own makeup in, you know, 15 minutes. I mean, how long could it take 30 minutes for, you know, for them to do my makeup? Listen to your professionals. Um, you know, if your photographer says that they need X amount of time, follow their lead. If your hairstylist or your makeup artist says that they need X amount of time per person, trust them, follow their lead. Um, we do this all the time and we are, you know, of course we want, we want your day to be as perfect and smooth as possible. So timelines are really important. Preparation, fail to plan, plan to fail. The more you do within reason ahead of time, the better off you're going to be. You don't want to just kind of play it by ear and then your DJ is coming up to you constantly. Hey, you ready to do this? Hey, do you want to do that? What do you think of this? You know, all that stuff should be mapped out. You should have a real game plan of everything that you're doing at your final meeting or at your final phone call. I do a final meeting and then I do a final phone call that week of the wedding just to dial in those details and everything. So there's really two checkpoints to kind of confirm things and go over everything. So I also want to talk a little bit about, you know, what I've seen with, with timelines and just kind of on the more micro, what, vid what I do as a vi your videographer, I usually always advise people to just kind of expect someone on your video team needing about an hour before both your ceremony and the reception. And if you have a package with two people, that usually doesn't cause too much of an issue because one person can always be filming whatever's going, is, whatever's going on while the other is setting things up because we are setting up stationary cameras and audio for different speakers during your ceremony and coordinating with the DJ to get audio of the toasts and setting lighting up when necessary. And you know, to do that right and to make sure that we're capturing things um, in the best possible way, it, it's not just sort of throw up a light and, and cross your fingers. It's We have to put a little bit of time and thought into making sure that all of those things are done correctly. So I always tell couples when they're, when they're doing their timeline, just kind of expect for our teams, you know, one person has to be focused on that at any one, you know, one hour before either the ceremony or the reception. So I think the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is just to talk to all your vendors and and get their input so that you can come up with a timeline that serves you and, and creates the day that, that you want to have. One of the reasons that you're hiring all of these professionals is you like their work, whether it's a photo video team that you've seen their work online and, and, and you feel like it fits, or you hired a wedding planner whose personality you like and, and you trust. Most couples are planning their first wedding. Well, maybe they were involved with a friend or a family member, kind of ancillary. But when it's your wedding, this is usually the only time that you are you know, asked a lot of questions that you never think about, like, you know, how long do you want your photo portrait session to take, or what time, you know, how do you want the flow of your reception to be? Um, and you probably haven't given that a lot of thought, even if you have been dreaming of your wedding day your entire life. So having conversations with your vendors, you hired them for a reason. Uh, we've all done so many events and we can give you, you know, advice to based on what's important to you. And, um, you know, I just think that, that it's really important. And, and if you hire the right people, having those conversations shouldn't be something that brings out stress. It should be something that alleviates stress and makes you feel on the day that, hey, everything's going to go exactly the way I want. It's just going to be a great time. And I actually want to leave you with um, something from our very first episode of Say Yes to the Best, where I talked with Andy of Forever Love Events. And she was talking about not getting stressed on the day of the wedding. And ultimately, I think that's what the timeline's for. It's to help you enjoy your wedding day. I think um, if, if we're talking about like the actual wedding day, 
Um, there are a lot of things that we have already planned before, so we shouldn't be worrying about any of that. That part is done. But the actual wedding day, I always try to tell my bride as soon as I arrive to their getting ready location, I has everything going. Make sure that they have a smile on their face and if I see them stressed or overwhelmed, just try to calm them down. And I think that's what every bride should always try to do. Just if you don't have you know, a support person next to you, just make sure that you are taking a quick breath and taking it all in and just relax and enjoy it. I think that's the ultimate purpose of why you wanna have a good timeline because you wanna make sure you're getting everything that you want on your wedding day and that you are um, enjoying every last minute that you can. So thank you again for watching Say Yes to the Best and thank you to all of my guests who have been a part of this episode. Their information is gonna be in the description below. Again, subscribe here on YouTube for more episodes every single week. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and go follow Pennsylvania Weddings as we're going to start doing our live Q&As over there. So thank you again and happy planning.